Recall, if you will, about two years ago, I fell in love with a concept I found on Kickstarter called the Scruiser. It was a little scooter that was uh, had two golf cart wheels, and it was designed for young, affluent, uh, urban uh, metrosexuals. But I still thought it would be cool to ride. I can't get my leg up over one of these bicycles. My sense of balance isn't that good. And I don't need to go that fast. But I wanted something that is easy to get on, easy to get off, and was very maneuverable um, in an urban environment. I still think the ultimate electric vehicle has not quite been invented. But these guys in Germany and Denmark, wherever they were with the Scruiser, were onto something. And so I signed up for it at $5,000, which I thought was a little bit pricey. Would you believe that a scant two and a half years later, they have already made arrangements for production of these via the Ying Yang Scooter Company in Shenzhen, China? And uh, I got a notice from the other day that they would like me to send the $5,000. Meanwhile, we get a lot of stuff from China. So I ordered 12 of them for there for about that. And uh, we have them in stock now. We've made a couple of changes, and most notably, one of the things I like about this is you can just kind of get off of it and it just stands there because of the wheels. Most notably is our innovation, the standard 1H Mark IV milk crate. And this lets us put things from the hardware store, the grocery store, or if I want to ride along the road, and with my stick with a nail in it and pick up aluminum cans and put them in there, which is what kind of old men do. And so uh, we have renamed it um, from the, I think uh, they were calling it the Sev in China, um, but we're going to call it the Cooter, the scooter for old guys. That said, guess who's falling in love with it around the shop? a bunch of young, affluent, urban metrosexuals. Let's take a look. Scooter is a scooter for old guys, old coots. A coot was uh, a kind of silly bird uh, and an awkward one that uh, became a term around here for an old uh, old man that's uh, kind of silly. And so uh, 
we've renamed the uh, Sev uh, scooter, the Cooter, and added a um, milk crate um, to it. We may do some lights and so forth, um, but a milk crate so you can carry stuff. It seems like an obvious omission here. Uh, I need to be able to put groceries, um, hardware, um, lunch, um, or uh, aluminum cans from going down the road, uh, picking them up. So this is the Cooter. The Cooter is a really remarkably simple uh, tubular steel frame, um, two-wheel scooter. Um, what's unique about it is that it uses two wide golf cart-like tires, uh, but with an aircraft tread on them and kind of a rounded corner that is uh, uh, kind of integral to its maneuverability. Uh, instead of having a, a sharp edge on the tire, it's a rounded and easy to lean uh, back and forth and so it becomes very maneuverable. The um, front wheel is steel as you're going to run into curbs and in this case railroad tracks with it and the rear wheel is an aluminum alloy with an integrated electric hub motor this is an 800 watt motor much like you would find on oh, one of your more powerful uh, electric bicycle electric bicycles so typically have 350 or perhaps 500 watts so this is a little bigger at 800 but note that the electric bicycle hub is typically turning a 26 inch radius or a diameter a wheel. This is turning one that's about uh, 12 inches. And so the uh, uh, torque uh, is uh, considerably greater in this case, about 70 foot pounds um, of torque. And this will uh, allow it to do. Oh, up to about an 18 degree grade uh, even with uh, my uh, somewhat significant 300 pounds on it plus lunch in the uh, milk crate. Um, the operation of it is a simple twist throttle. Um, it also has um, kind of some safety features. Uh, two um, disc brakes. They're actually hydraulic disc brakes each with a lever uh, there on the handlebars. Um, you start it with a, uh, a key. And uh, so it's really kind of um, one of the problems with small vehicles is their uh, uh, theft. Uh, this one is 61 pounds. Um, you do have a key. And so um, it would be easy uh, to chain it to a tree or bicycle rack. But more importantly, um, this thing is simply 61 pounds. It's uh, a little difficult to uh, take off with unless you can roll it, which is somewhat difficult without having it on. The fat tires give it um, somewhat of a smooth ride and um, kind of operate in lieu of suspension. It's a pretty soft uh, ride. Um, the uh, range on the device um, it's actually quite efficient it has two uh, operating modes sport mode and low energy mode um, most of our uh, young affluent urban uh, metrosexuals around the shop um, like the uh, sport mode and that gives you a speed of about 20 miles per hour which is not great, but the acceleration is quite good. It's quite quick uh, away from the stop, and so it has a pleasant feel, as many of you are familiar with, with uh, electric vehicles anyway. Uh, 20 mile an hour top speed, uh, pretty much. And at that rate, you're using about 32 watt hours per mile. Um, it's very efficient uh, with energy consumption. The battery is 60 volts and, and barely 12 amp hours of uh, battery, and that gives us 720 watt hours of energy to expend. In um, the low energy mode, which is of course much slower, 
Um, that'll do about 30 runs, uh, believe it or not. And we have uh, tested it. Um, 22, 23 miles in sport mode, which of course uses more energy, but is um, more um, exhilarating um, to ride uh, in the maximum speeds, about 20 miles an hour. Very maneuverable in traffic and um, in various uh, scenarios. The um, tires are 225 slash 55-8 uh, super wide tires. And again, the front wheel is steel. The rear wheel being an aluminum alloy. Um, both the tires are the same size. And you have uh, hydraulic uh, disc brakes uh, front and rear. The uh, operation of the motor is with a twist throttle a grip and it's in the uh, handlebars. And um, the fenders are ABS plastic. Um, the device is 51 inch uh, wheelbase and um, the seat height, which I think they really got right on this, is um, 27 and a half inches. Very comfortable to sit down on. In fact, this was my main consideration, um, was they literally just step over the um, uh, foot plate and sit down and take off. And that, uh, that works out very well. This is along the uh, the river, um, the, our recent flood, we had water within about a foot and a half of the top of this wall. We're on the river side of the wall. Here we come up on uh, somebody doing a little bit of work. And, uh, so we'll see if we can get around them. Mississippi River. Of course, my house is uh, uh, right on a bluff overlooking it. We were never in danger with the flood, uh, but we're close to the uh, rise and fall of one of the largest rivers in the world here in Cape Toronto. You can see kind of a deposit of silt on the sidewalks uh, along the riverfront. The cooter at $17.95 uh, with Milk Creek. And uh, we have about a dozen of them in, uh, in stock right now. We can get more. I thought I'd try 12 so far. Just riding them around town, the response has been actually kind of unbelievable. Um, people haven't seen anything like it and are immediately attracted to it. The idea is just a handy two-wheeler that you can hop on and go. You don't really have to do anything when you stop. You just step off of it and walk away and stands on the two wheels. It does feature an integral kickstand on the left side. Nobody ever uses it. You just pull up, stop the thing, turn off the key, and step off of it and go about our business. So it's the, the easiest to get in and out of an uh, electric vehicle. Um, ever encountered.
And so. That was pretty neat. What the neat globalization thing. of everything. Right. And here's how uh, different this is. We're going to add our a milk crate, which is a very high-tech addition <laughs> to the screwser, which uh, the screwser's just a little too cool. And if you go too cool, you're not cool. But if you back off from cool a little bit, sometimes that's pretty cool. I think the milk crate does it. Puts it right in the middle. It does. Right so we're putting some effort into mounting the milk crate so you have a little bit of um, cargo. It's like a pickup truck. You can put some stuff in the back. And we're going to call it the Cooter. It, we have a dozen in stock now. And uh, I'll put them up on the web this week at a special introductory price of 5000 Five, I thought you were going to do six. You're going to no, do five. That's no. nice. No. The 4000 Mm, no, I don't. I'll give you two. You will? Well, unless you, you can do you, better. You know, I can actually do better. That, yeah, well, we're going to sell them for uh, $1,799. Is that with or without a milk crate? It comes with. Good, good. But it's removable. Okay. If you don't want the milk crate, you can always take it out and put it uh, by the uh, basement steps where you keep your uh, baseball glove and balls and golf balls. And you just have to be aware you'd be a little bit less cool if you did that. You, you would sort of be starting to encroach on, again, young, affluent, urban metrosexuals uh, rather than being an old coot like me. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. If that's your thing, then take I, the milk crate off. Yeah, I, I, I don't really approve of that. I think you need a milk crate. So you got to take the milk crate, but you can remove it from the uh, uh, cooter. And uh, that's K-O-O-T-E-R, cooter, a um, scooter for old coots. Great. But guess who's been riding them all over the place here? I know. Everybody. Bill and Preston and, <laughs> and just about everybody that walks in the door. Patrick and uh, right. uh, it's just yeah. been. Uh, even, we even managed to get Daphne on it. She was reluctant at first until she wrote it. And We've been buzzing around town here. We have an unfortunate situation. Missouri has a great, uh, they call it a medium speed vehicle law. Anything under 50 cc's or electric mm -hmm. that goes 25 miles an hour or less. You can ride on any 35 mile an hour road. You don't have to register it. You don't have to do anything with it. But, uh, and Missouri repealed their helmet law. Awesome. Um, uh, but uh, a young lady up here at the college uh, killed herself on a scooter somehow, some freak accident. Well, like, like the Cooter scooter. No, it was like one of the little motorcycle scooter oh, like kind of things. Proper but motor scooter. Yeah, you know, like a motor scooter, but a little one. Mm. Um, you don't have a habit in China. Sure, they're, a little, yeah. they're like Some a have motorcycle. Some pedals on them. They get out of that bicycle. And um, so anyway, uh, the city passed a goofy law where you got to have uh, insurance and the helmet and the whole thing. But it's just here in town. <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't matter. We don't sell anything here in town anyway. But my guys were out uh, riding them around and actually a huge amount, it looks like, of local interest. Just people, what is that thing? Where do I get one? Yeah. So I'm not sure we don't have uh, something on our hands. Yeah, nearly every car that would come the other way, we'd, we'd see their lights flash on just to kind of look mm -hmm. behind, what was that? Yeah. It's just so different, so unique. Mm -hmm. And so maneuverable, as you saw with them crossing the railroad trestle and buzzing around. Uh, not so good in the mud. Not so good in the not mud. Not very good in the mud, no. Mm. Mm -mm. Not really a mud mud bike. No, not with those tires. Off road thing. It, it's a urban vehicle. Yeah, sure. It's for paving yeah. and, uh, but what would you say, 18, 20 mile an hour? Yeah, uh, we had the we had a, the one of the cell phone apps. Mm -hmm. 18, 18 on the flats and well, as fast as you want to go downhill. Mm -hmm. it looks up, like yeah. about 23, 24 miles range. This 18, 20 miles is on the sport mode. Yes. And then they have a, a lower speed mode you can set for kids or yeah, whatever. Yeah, a little but phone app. It's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, it it's actually has a, 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 a phone application. You, you can, can go in and you can adjust the throttle curve and how it applies the power. And 
yeah. check the state of charge yeah. and so forth. Yeah, it's all right. um, but um, on the high power uh, mode, uh, 20, 23, 24 miles range, probably 30 on the low power, but I don't, wow. you're not going to ride it on the low power, so forget that. <laughs> no, the, the high power is a nice speed. It's not too fast that you feel like you're out of control, and it's not too slow that well, I could just walk. So right. it's a good, it's a, it's a nice middle of the road speed. And it takes off pleasingly quick. Yeah, sure, absolutely. It, it's quick yeah. off the line. And it makes a really cool growl noise, too. Yeah, that is yeah. weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's neat. It's, it's, yeah. So anyway, uh, I think it's got a, a chance of being a hit. We're going to offer them for $1,795 plus shipping. And um, so we'll see where they go and how quick they go. But you uh, don't really have to pay $5,000 for a screwser. Um, this is not a screw. I think the screwser's got some sort of patented impulse drive or yeah, something like that. Yeah, you had to like get that. it going first before yeah. you can. No, this is just a twist grip. Sit on it and um, go. And, um, you don't even need to have your feet down. You just go. But I think uh, I think they come out of the same factory, and so uh, ours is a little less. Um, and so that's the uh, Cooter.